Psalms 37 from words 1 to 11. I'm using the NIV translation. Do not fret because of those who are evil or be envious of those who, who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like green plants, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pastures. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him and he will do this. He will make your righteous rewards shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday, noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked scheme. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret. It leads only to evil. For those who are evil will be destroyed, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. A little while and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for them, they will not be found. But the meek will inherit the land and enjoy peace and uh, prosperity. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I thank Lord for this uh, wonderful morning to come to God's presence to praise him and worship him. Um, I'm humble uh, once again at the Lord's feet standing in, in front of you with the word of God. Uh, God is good. Praise the Lord. So I would like to uh, 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 just uh, get into the Psalms what I read. Uh, we see that Psalms, it, it, it is a long Psalm that you know, has 40 words. So I, uh, to save time, I just uh, read only 11 verses. Uh, Psalms 37 is a God's answer to David. He who were uh, annoyed or irritated by wicked people or wrongdoers around him. When you look on that uh, 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 Psalms 36, we can see that, you know, uh, God, uh, David was asking uh, the reason that David was asking God that uh, uh, why uh, it's uh, why why do the wicked prosper and uh, good suffer so I, I would like to read from uh, verse 1 to 4 uh, Psalms 36 I have a message from God in my heart concerning the sinful of the wicked there is no fear of God before their eyes in their own eyes they flatter themselves too much to detect or hate their sin. The word of their mouth are wicked and deceitful. They fail to act wisely or do good. Even on their beds, they plot evil. They commit themselves to a sinful course and do not reject what is wrong. <clears throat> so when, uh, 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 so here, you know, in Psalms, uh, here uh, David is asking a question to God that what, God, why do the wicked prosper and the good suffer? So the reason why God, why David was annoyed or uh, concerned about the wicked people around him, because he is comparing himself with a self-righteous heart to the wicked people. When he look around, he see that they don't have any troubles, they don't have any any problems, they don't have any. Uh, um, in any trouble in their life and uh, they are prospering uh, with uh, the, all their schemes become su successful. Uh, they don't have uh, any fear of God. They're doing all kinds of things. They are deceitful. They are not acting uh, wisely. They make uh, e evil plots against the righteous people. They keep on doing all these wrong things but still they flourish in their life. So he is comparing to himself with a self-righteous heart and you know comparing that uh, uh, the wicked people around him. But when he is, what his situation is, when we look that, you know, we know that, you know, David was a, a um, shepherd and he become a, a king of Israel uh, when he was a teenager and he, he, he led a God-fearing life and he helped uh, the people who were in need 
and he fight against the enemies of the Israelites and he killed Goliath. Uh, he, he, he helped many times the other people, but still when, the, when he became a king, uh, he could not go to his palace and uh, he, he could not rule uh, the, 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 the people of Israel because uh, the ungodly king Saul was uh, hunted, him, hunted him to uh, kill, kill him or chasing him to uh, kill him. So he was, uh, he ran away from, uh, uh, from the palace or, you know, uh, from the uh, uh, palace and uh, he uh, lived in, uh, in the forest and he slept in the caves. Um, um, uh, yeah, he slept in the caves. But uh, uh, he got uh, many times, many opportunities to uh, kill Saul while he was chasing him, but you know, he didn't do that because he don't want, uh, he was a God-fearing uh, uh, person. Uh, so he didn't kill uh, uh, Saul because he, do, he don't want to do the sin uh, to killing a, a person uh, uh, that who uh, God was uh, anointed. So even though he got the chances, you know, he, he didn't do that. You know, instead he saved his life, you know, he safely sent him to uh, the palace back to back to the palace and uh, like I said you know uh, Godo, uh, David was a very helpful per person while he was in uh, trouble and he was in the in the forest and uh, many times he uh, helped other people that uh, uh, we can see that in, uh, in the second Samuel uh, he helped um, Abimelech and uh, Naba they were in trouble and uh, you know he, he went and helped them but uh, when David was in trouble uh, he asked for food to him and his people when they were in the forest, in the, in the wilderness. Um, so they denied that, they could not help them. So all this situation when he, when he was looking and you know, he was, the, the, the question arose from his heart and he asked that God, 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 why is this happening to me? And uh, when, when I am doing the uh, good things and uh, the people are doing bad things, you know, they are prospering in, the, in their life. Um, as a believer, we also thought the uh, thing, thing, you know, the same same situation. We go through the same same situation like this, and uh, we also ask uh, God that you know we compare ourselves and uh, looking others with the self righteous heart. You know, we will ask, you know, oh Lord, why they are prospering their life, or oh, they have uh, jobs and they have uh, uh, promotions and uh, they have luxury life, where they they have everything. Why? Or so my situation is a. Uh, it's not like that, you know, I'm going to church, I'm praying, I'm a believer, I'm a good guy, um, and uh, I'm doing everything what I can do, but you know, why it's happened to me? Why it's uh, sickness in, uh, in my family, sickness in my body? Um, well, why my family is not improving? Uh, so many times, you know, the, uh, we, we, we were irritated or uh, we were, um, um, doubted even even there is a God you know the doubter our God uh, it, it is it is normal sometimes you know we, we think that you know but um, uh, we can ask to God uh, that God why is that uh, we cannot uh, uh, we cannot question God's will but we can ask question to God if we are if, uh, praise Lord if you are asking a question to God and wait patiently before him and he will give the answer and he will uh, clear our doubts and uh, clear, clear our uh, uh, thoughts and everything. Uh, this is what we are seeing in, the, in, the, in, this, in this Psalm, that is chapter, uh, Psalms 37. Uh, God is speaking to uh, David and uh, counseling him and uh, teaching him what is the remedy and what, what he should do to solve this problem. Uh, we can see that uh, um, in the in the in the same uh, song, Psalm 37, uh, 25. Uh, David became an old man when he wrote this psalm, and he's saying that I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread, begging bread. So all this time, God was a uh, um, you know, teaching him and uh, counseling him with a lot of with a lot of experiences in there. Like I said, you know, when he went to ask for a 
food to a person, you know, when he, he was a king in Israel, he baked the food for an, another person, they could not uh, feed him. But uh, when he think about that, you know, God's uh, plans and uh, God's uh, uh, provision and uh, God's uh, providence in his life, and he was thankfully underwriting this, uh, uh, writing this psalm. Uh, David shared share his insight and the wisdom he had gained from the years he walked and trusted in the Lord. Uh, that's the reason uh, uh, David wrote this uh, psalm. So uh, what, what would we do? Perhaps these thoughts came to our mind and what uh, the, the bad guys are winning and the good people are losing or suffering. What we can understand from these psalms, that's what uh, we're going to think, think about. Uh, the first thing we can understand that we need to submit to God. This, submit, this submission has two parts. First part of the submission means submitting our emotion to God, uh, putting, putting off all our, our emotions like a fret, irritation, envy, anger, agony, worries, doubts, and all, uh, all, all the emotions put, uh, put into God's feet. Uh, we all are emotional uh, human beings. Uh, we, we didn't build up any, anything, uh, but you know, God created us with that emotions in our, in, in our life. So we are uh, 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 emotional human beings. So the, the matrix, who is controlling that emotions in our, in our life? That's, that's a matrix. So are we controlling our, our emotions or you give it to God to control our emotions in our life? So, uh, so give that, give, uh, uh, give God, allow God to uh, rule over our emotions. There, there are some of the emotions are very dangerous and sinful. God commanded us, uh, we see that in, a, uh, in the same uh, in a Psalm that saying that do not fret, uh, do not be angry, do not be irritated, uh, do not be jealous, do not be revenge to others. So if these this, uh, emotions, we, if you don't control or give, give it to God, to, uh, we cannot control ourselves, we, it will lead us to sin. So we need to give our emotions to uh, uh, God to control ourselves. Uh, the reason we are irritated when we see the evil men for, flourish and succeed in their scheme, it is, it is assuming that uh, we know how to deal the problem better than God does. In other words, we are telling God that, uh, God, uh, telling God that uh, I don't like the way you're running things. It is not fair. I don't deserve this kind of treatment from the wicked people. So instead of uh, saying that, instead we can uh, thinking that uh, uh, submit our ourselves to. Uh, to give the control of our, our emotions to uh, our Almighty God, our Sovereign God, our Faithful Father to de deal the situation. So, so we don't, we, uh, when we see that uh, uh, things in our life, you know, we are facing these things in our life, we should not declare war against them or we should not confront them, we should not revenge on them, give to uh, the hands of the God. The war belongs to God. Let God do the war for us. Uh, the second part of the submission is, uh, we can see that in the verse, uh, verse uh, 3 to 7, putting on our trust in Him, be obedient to God, be patient for God, and humble as much as we can, and be delight in the Lord. Uh, let's look uh, one by one. Trust in the Lord. What, is, what does it mean that uh, trust in the Lord? Trust in the Lord and do good. We always say that, you know, I trust in the Lord. Um, I pray to God and uh, I trust in the Lord always. But it, 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 we, if, we are, if we really mean that, it is not like a slogan that, you know, we're saying that we trust in the Lord. If you really mean that uh, this is what we need to do, when the things are going out of control, 
or you think you are losing you, you cannot control the problem you roll the problem into god's hand and watch him that uh, he vindicate you in his stand so when we are we are facing the problems you know we we if we are doing our, uh, our we are planning or thinking to take care of ourselves or you know deal with that problem uh, that means you are not trusting the god if you give that problem to god that you know work together to solve that problem god will uh god will do uh, uh in in his own time he will give the answer uh in in his time maybe he is uh, solve the problem right away maybe sometimes you know uh he will open another another way another door for you to solve that problem so whatever it is uh trust in the lord and wait for him uh uh to to get the answer at his, at his time uh the second thing is be obedient to god what does it mean that once you gave the problem into god's hand and not supposed to sit down simply on the couch we we we, we sometimes we th- think that way too you know uh, i prayed and you know give the problem to god and now it's in his hand you know let him do whatever he want not that way uh so we should keep on doing good things and cultivate the faithful for god <clears throat> uh it's verse um, okay um yeah so so we need to uh, cultivate our uh, faithful for faithfulness for uh, uh, god uh don't uh, maybe your uh, your friends or you know your neighbors or your colleagues or maybe you know they are evil doers or you know they are uh they 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 are not believe in god but don't follow their tricks or a uh, uh, shortcut to to attain a thing or you know solve a problem uh instead you know give a, uh to give give to the hands of the lord because god wants us to be faithful wherever we are do not let the other person sins lead you into sin do what god has given to you to do do it with the obedience and uh, with the faithfulness the third thing we see that you know be patient to god uh verse 7 uh, says that you know 36 37 37 6 i will make you righteous reward shine like the dawn your vindication like the noonday sun sorry uh, be still before the lord and wait patiently for him do not fret when people succeed in their ways uh when they carry out their wicked schemes so what it says over here be patient to god rest in the lord and wait patiently for him it is the hardest uh, uh, part of the submission uh that is the uh, wait for the lord it is easy to say that you know <clears throat> wait for the lord and you know sometimes we sing that you know strength will rise as we wait upon the lord as we wait upon the lord it is easy to sing but you know, in in our, in our real life it is uh, uh not easy that you know to wait upon the lord to hear from him uh so we need everything in right away uh, we need the prosperity uh right away we need the blessings right away we need the healings right away we need everything uh right away but uh, we need to learn to wait for the lord because our plans are pl- plans and the thoughts are not the god's plan our ways and the methods are not the god's method his plans are greater than ours and his ways are greater than our ways a thousand years are seems to be one day for him so wait patiently for god's time he will answer our prayers clear our concerns and doubts at his time his time is due time so wait for that uh, time uh to uh, god god's work uh then we we seeing again that you know uh, verse 11 uh, be humble to god put on hum- uh, humility to be humble means to realize our own weakness and sinfulness 
this awareness stop us to self righteously judge others many times we act like a, a holy people the most holy people and the most righteous people yes we are righteous and we are holy because of his grace not because of our works or because of our smartness or greatness or any other speciality we become uh, righteous uh, so when you remember that you know when we when we become you know righteous you know we were a stage like that you know that like that wicked people so when god is looking everybody is looking in the same way so we need to help them uh, we need to uh, to to convert them or to uh, tell the gospel or you know love them and you know bring them to to god instead of you know judging them god did not give any authority to judge anybody because he is a supreme supreme judge he is the righteous god he is a, is a sovereign god he is a perfect in all his ways so let him judge the wicked and the righteous he don't have any bias he is a good god who reign make reign to good and bad but there is a there is one day that everyone come across that uh, throne of judgment and he will judge us according to our deeds and now my time is up and also i just want to go a little faster uh uh and uh, another thing is that uh, we read that you know in our verse four we delight in the lord delight in the lord means our heart uh, truly find peace and uh, fulfillment in the lord trust obedience patience and humility can be summed up in a phrase is called a delight yourself in the lord it is like a, we are captivated or fully controlled by god in him rather than focusing on the things which uh, the world seeks let us focus on the lord let's seek first the kingdom and the righteousness uh, kingdom of god and the righteousness then uh, everything uh, will shall added unto you he will fulfill the desire desires of our heart the desires of the heart doesn't mean that he will give you anything and everything for you uh, your selfish heart desire but the spiritual desire like to see the glory of god to see him face to face to reign with him for and ever ever and ever if a, if a, if a, if you are delighted ours yourself if we are delighted ourselves in the lord then our desires will be in align with the god's desire so let me stop here with a small story uh, there was a wicked uh, person an atheist uh, farmer ridiculed those who believed in god he wrote a letter to the local newspaper in which he boasted i plowed on sunday planted on sunday cultivated on sunday and hold in my crops on sunday but i never went to church on sundays yet i hold more bushels per acre than anyone who believes in god and go to church the editor printed the letter in the newspaper with an added remarks it was like this the lord doesn't always settle his accounts in october uh, god is not worried about the proud scheme of the wicked he knows that uh, the seeming victories of wicked is only last for a season then he will destroy them destroy their schemes and uh, it will disappear forever for like we read in the uh, second verse says that for like the grass they will soon wither like a green plants they will soon die away so do not fret because of those who are evil give control over to god all our all of our emotions trust in the lord be obedient and do good be patient and uh, wait upon the lord to see what god is doing for us be humble be a humble servant for him to do his will be delight in the lord with the true peace and joy and god bless you